But we've got an Alakazam Spirit Link, a Mega Catcher, a Reverse Bronzong with Iron Defense and Hammering, and... Dude, I just don't know what to say. I do not know what to say. We've just gone back to back with Ultras in box number three. What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening and today we're back with box number three from my Fates Collide Boost Case opening that is going down on the channel right now. So if you guys have missed out on box number one and two, links to those will be in the description of the video, all parts from both boxes as well. Box number one was one, uh, the whole box in one video. Box number two was split up into quarters, and just like box two, box number three will be split up into quarters as well. So part number one will go live today, two, part two tomorrow, three the next day, four the day after that. So with that all said, let's go through this uh, booster box. So this one from the case is like the most loosely shrink rack pack packaged one of them all, which I thought was a little bit strange, but at the same time, I have good, good hopes, high hopes for this one, good vibes. But yeah, for those guys that have not seen a Fates Collide Booster Box being opened on YouTube yet, this is the Booster Box. It has Mega Alakazam on the front, Perfect Zygarde on top, Lugia Break on the right hand side, Delphox Break on the left hand side, and then on the back you've just got uh, Mega Alakazam being the mascot of the set. With the set description just there, pause and have a read of that one if you would like. But with that all said, let's bust into the Shrink Wrap and get into our first nine packs of box number three. So yeah, if you guys missed out on box number one, box number one was a real nice balance of pulls. We got a nice variety. Um, box number two was just straight height. Like we pulled power. Like if you wanna see some good pulls, be sure to go check out that one. But yeah, box three, question mark. What is box number three? Is it going to be hype? Is it going to be power? Or is it going to be the dud box of the case where we just get nothing too special? But yeah, my favorite part, of course, is looking at the boost box as is. Like, check that. It looks so good. Like, kind of where you'd see the shops. And then you just, yeah, I don't know. I love admiring it. I kind of just want to, like, get a couple of boxes, open them up, and just put them on my shelf. Just like that. Just to look at. Because they just, I don't know. It just looks so good. It, I don't know what else to say. It, it just looks so good. But we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with like kind of like bent Zygarde packet pack there. But yeah, double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I can count. I can count, guys. It's all good. But yeah, it's neat that I have two Lugia break pack eyes chilling on the front just at the back there. And let's get into pack number one without further ado. Let's get this camera down into card opening mode. Yeah, there we go, that looks good, guys. Let's go, box number three, I'm so hyped. If you guys are hyped, be sure to drop a like down below. And let's get that hype going with the code, first code of the box. Enjoy. Is it three? Yeah, it's three and two. God damn, I'm mind blank. Classic mind blank. But let's go. So we've got a Fennekin, Gothita, Spoink, Solosis, Barnacle, Chinchino, Helix Fossil Omanite, Wigglytuff. Ooh, we just got a Bronzong break, you guys. First pack magic, I tell you. And what, we, what else we got? What else we got? A Lucario regular rare. 110 HP would be down and Magnum Kick. But check out this, guys. This is my first Bronzong break from the booster case. And doesn't it just look amazing? Like, check it out. So you got Bronzong chilling in the center, you got the disco lights in the background, but then you got like these pink like lightning bolts and they're kind of just surrounding Bronzong's like arms and everything. It looks pretty solid. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But yeah, that's crazy. Let's move on. First pack magic, you guys. I tell you, I tell you, it just happens. It just happens. Um, but moving on. Yeah, so that one was the first pack from the front of the booster box on the left hand side once again and if you guys watch part number one of my box two opening it was the exact same it was legitimately the exact same 
But let's move on. So we've got a Fennekin. Gothita. A Binacle. We've got a Meow. Wisma. Fossil Excavation Kit. Let's have a look at that, actually. So yeah, it's... I don't know. It just looks like a book. And then, yeah, it's got some weird... Weird stuff on the inside. I don't know. Looks strange. When I look at it, I've never really, like, analyzed the art. But yeah, it looks like a book and it's got, like, some stuff, stuff inside of it. Strange. Strange. But we've got an Alakazam Spirit Link. A Mega Catcher. A Reverse Bronzong with Iron Defense and Hammering. And... Dude, I just don't know what to say. I do not know what to say. We've just gone back to back with Ultras in box number three. What is happening? What is happening? Wow, so we've got a Zygarde EX with 190 HP with Lands Pulse and Cell Storm and Lands Wrath. So um after like reviewing this card, um I kind of like noticed the, the borders of this card it looks really really good. Um it's kind of got like this hex hexagon kind of pattern. I'm guessing that represents like cells and stuff. Um but yeah we got Zygarde looking all like uh all bright and powerful. I know, and it, I know. I just love the kind of like, just all the effects to this card and how much detail that they've put into um, into this card in general. It just looks amazing. Like, just I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that one as well in the comment section below. I think they really gave Zygarde a lot of appreciation with that card. Some people might think otherwise, but that's what I think personally. That is the Amity opinion. Hashtag Amity opinion. But yeah, let's continue on. Continue on. Just got to move that code over to that side because that one was given away. Make sure I don't get these codes mixed up. But let's move on. So we've got a seal. I just want to move this a little bit closer. Yeah, there we go. That looks a bit better. Seal. Cotney. Riolu. A Vullaby. Coughing. Don't Fossil Kabuto. Altaria Spirit Link. Pokemon Fan Club. That's a good pull. We've got a Reverse Mew. This one is a hollow in the set. It is one of... Five or six ho hollows in the set. If you guys did not know, no, there's like no hollows in the set. Um, so that probably explains why the ultra rare pull ratio is kind of knocked up sky high. But um, check that. Awesome reverse. And a bronzong regular rare. So nothing too special there. But awesome. Awesome, awesome. Mew is definitely one of the faves from the set. Definitely, I'd say probably my favorite hollow by far. By far. But all the hollows are pretty cool in this set. But let's move on. Let's move on. Code card for you guys. Enjoy. And let's see what this pack has in store for us. I've lost count. I think it's pack number four. But we've got a Solosis, a Fennekin, Wisma, Seal, Cottony, Dugong, Energy Pouch, a Strong Energy, Whimsicott Reverse. That one is just an uncommon with light steps. Ooh, and a Moltres. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen too much of this in my first three boxes, so that's not bad. This was actually a pre-release promo. Uh, they turned it into a hollow and shoved a Fates Collide stamp there and had like a slightly different art made by the same artist. But um, I definitely prefer the Fates Collide promo, the uh, pre-release promo over this art. But it's not bad. It's good to see Moltres getting a little bit of love in the TCG series. Because I know um, like Articuno and Zapdos got um, full arts in Generations, but Moltres is kind of just like... What about me? Anyway, let's move on. We got Zygarde. Perfect Zygarde. Let's throw the code off to the back. And let's go. I'm starting to, like, I don't know. I'm starting to think this box had, like, I don't know, those first two packs were, like, high pipe. And it's going to go slightly downhill for a little bit. Like, we're going through a bit of a rough patch at the moment. But hopefully it'll pick up for us. But we've got a Kabuto, Wormadam, Helix Fossil Omanite Reverse, not bad. The train is actually really hard to get in reverse if you, do, if you guys didn't know. Uh, well, for me personally, I'm always like missing some sort of a trainer reverse to complete my reverse side of things. But anyway, uh, the rare in the pack is a Mew Hollow. That's not bad. That is not bad. That's cool. You can barely see that Hollow. It strikes more to me in person than in what it would for you guys. Um, on, on the camera there but you can see you can see it kind of just like flickers there flickers there but yeah cool we got the reverse and the regular Mew in the same part of box number three that's not bad that is not bad so this pack wants to be opened normally 
pack art saved. Throw that on at the top. Cut it off to the side. And let's see what this pack has for us. I think we've got three more packs left in this part. So we got a Bronzor, Cotney, a Burmy, Lavata, Meowth, Brakeson, N, Halucha. Shout out to the Pokemon Evolutionaries. I remember this time we got an N and a Halucha in the same pack. That's not bad. And back to back too, might I mention. Shout out to the Pokemon Evolutionaries. I know how much you guys love Halucha. JK. JK. <laughs> but we got Rotom. That one is a reverse rare. That's pretty sweet. And a Rotom regular rare. Not bad. Two Rotom, one pack. That's not bad. Obviously, the reverse being the better one out of the two because the reverse is a lot harder to get. But let's keep cracking. Let's keep cracking. So we got two more after this one to go in this part. I wonder if there's anything else to be expected in this part. If we get a full art, I'll be very, very pleased. If we don't, I definitely will not be um, disappointed with what we've got so far. But um, getting three pulls. So we got a break. I don't really classify the breaks as like a standard pull in the pull ratio, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but we got a moth on there. Moth on regular air. But um, yeah, they're kind of just extras. I see them like in um, in the boxes. You usually get about two, but then the standard pulls being hollows, EXs, full arts and stuff, usually adds up to, usually adds up to 12. So let's flip this round, sorry. Can't, can't do two things at once, I'm, I'm terrible like that. Um, but yeah, so I could potentially be expecting one more thing in this part to make uh, the one in three pack ratio to go like nine packs, three pulls, and the bronzong being an extra. So that could be sweet. But let's go. We got a fairy drop, fairy garden reverse, not bad, and an Altaria EX. So there we go, guys. That just as I was uh, mentioning it, we got an Altaria EX with 170 HP with powerful gain and shining wind. Not bad. So this is the first of I've seen of Altaria EX in the case so far. So that's always nice. Always nice to see a new face. Uh, definitely one of the least desired cards in the set, might I mention. Uh, at this current moment in time anyway, I'm guessing it's just not very playable It just doesn't work with the cards that are playable in the format at this current moment But that's cool. We still got one more pack to go. So I gotta keep chugging along Keep chugging and let's see what we can get out of this final pack See if we can end it on a high note, but there we go. That is the final code of part number one Hope you guys are getting some good stuff out of those codes but let's go. So we have a Dealing, a Jigglypuff, Goth Eater, Meowth, Snivy, Kangaskhan, Duosion, Mega Catcher, Duosion Reverse. So that's two Duo, two Duosion one pack. We got it, the Duo Duosions. Hashtag Duo Duosions. <laughs> what the hell? What the heck? And we got a Superior Regular. I don't know where I was going with that. I was just like, yeah, hashtag Duo Duosion. <laughs> but anyway, we couldn't end it on a high note. We couldn't end it as well as we started. Um, but we definitely got some good stuff today. I'm very pleased with this first part. A nice kind of range of pulls here. But I'll just get them into some sort of an order. I think... Yeah, we'll just go like that. That'll do. So we got the Rotom Reverse Rare. Not even bad. We got a Reverse Rare Mew. Holo Mew. Which is always nice to get both of those guys. <laughs> we got the Bronzong, Bronzong Break, not even bad. Let me know what you guys think of that one in the comment section below. Altaria EX, and a Zygarde EX. Once again, let me know what you guys think of Zygarde in the comment section below. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed part number one of box number three, be sure to drop a like down below. Let me know in the comments about that Bronzong and the Zygarde, and I look forward to seeing you guys in part number two of box three. Another one of my Fates Clyde boost boxes, be sure to check those in the description of the video, or another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.